I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Langston Hughes. I take two fingers in the center at the top and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line down, straight line, curve line out, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot on top, straight line out, curve line down, curve line out, and leave it floating. I come back to the left and now I'm just going to draw a big curve line down, up, connect. I come over here to the left and I draw a slightly curved line down, curve line over, curve line up, connect. Starting right here I'm going to draw a slightly curved line out, in, down, off the page on the left. Come on the right hand side, slightly curved line out, down, out, down, off the page. Come right about here and we're just going to draw a big curved line out, off the page, on the left, big curved line out, off the page, on the right. Come right here in the center, just draw a slightly curved line down, off the page, one, two, baby circles. I come back over here on the left and I'm just going to draw a wavy, wavy line up, wavy line over, wavy line down, and connect. I come inside this space, put a dot, and I'm going to draw a big curve line out, back up, connect on the left, put another dot, big curve line out, down, up over, connect. Come right down on the left and draw a curved line, curved line, connect. Inside, one curved line, two curved lines. Come on the right hand side, curved line up, down, over, connect. Inside, one curved line, two curved lines. I'm going to come right here in the center, draw a straight line down, straight diagonal out, curve line, curve line, and leave it floating. Right about here I draw a curve line out, up, connect on the left, curve line down, up, connect on the right. Right over here on the left I draw a big curve line down, up, connect, right on the left let's put a little curve line up, down, connect. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my black and color in this space, this space, you'll do better than me, this, this space, this space, and this space, this space, and this space all the way around. Okay, Langston Hughes was the first poet in the 1920s to the 1960s and he developed what they called jazz poetry. He was part of the Harlem Renaissance. So this is all black, this is all black. Okay, next I'm going to take my pink and I'm just going to put a line of pink down here. Just to show that he's got, his mouth is open. And then I'm going to take my regular brown and I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop all of this. Don't forget this space by his mustache. Don't forget this space. This is his neck. I'm going to do all of this brown. Now Langston Hughes 
was influenced by Walt Whitman. And these are all American poets. And as they say, they made their art with words. Quite an accomplishment as an artist. And especially for him being African American. Okay. Then I took yellow green and I wanted to show that his shirt was two-toned stripes so first I put the green on as lines following the lines I already drew then I come back in whoops and I'm going to do the baby circles yellow green also then I came back in and in between the colored lines I put a contrasting color I think this is peach but you could use yellow you could really make this could be any color you want but I thought he looked good in this light green combination okay then as always, I took my red and I drew red straight lines for the background because that kind of punched up the whole look of the portrait. Langston Hughes. Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Langston Hughes all colored in. An African-American poet, he started jazz poetry and was a leader of the Harlem Renaissance. Okay, bye-bye.